Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back for this lovely Monday on the 4th of March. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good morning. Good morning. All right. All right, everybody. So uh, hopefully everybody got in safe uh, here in the Northeast. We got hit with a little major little snowstorm, uh, which is good news and bad news. Um, good news is we're here. The bad news, they closed New York City down yesterday, which is going to really cause some major issues. The reason why I'm bringing that up is because when you close the schools of New York City, uh, that's a very major problem for, for people that have to go to work and don't know what to do with their kids. So which, that could help us as a catastrophe. And, I, and people are like, how is that going to help you? Well, I could tell you this. The stock market is obviously going to have some uh, interesting movements. You know, you're going to get a lot of assistance in and stuff like that. So – I'm going to give you a little heads up. Uh, you'll, you'll notice some different types of trading patterns that are going to be a little bit easier to trade, usually on a day like this, uh, than anything. So, But uh, sitting tight in, in Minnesota weather in Kansas, you know, it's funny, but I tell my staff all the time, you know, regardless of that, what happens to us, doesn't matter to what it doesn't matter to you because you can be sitting at your home in a nice little, you know, 90 degree weather. So it doesn't affect anyone here. But um, but New York, because it's financial capital world, sometimes you have to take that in consideration. All right. So we've got a couple of things going on. Let me just bring up my uh, look at some of the stocks that we traded last week. First of all, first of all, welcome everyone back uh, for today. Hold on. Let me, let me get a couple of uh, things right here. Welcome back. Uh, it start a brand new week. And March, obviously, we're at full swing. So you know, February ended up pretty well. Hopefully, everybody went over their recordings of their classes last week and then also went over their monthly journals, see if you're ready to go to the next level. But there are a lot of stocks that are moving this morning, and we're going to keep an eye on them. Shockingly, you know, again, some really big movers. I mean, if you look here on the left-hand side, we got a lot of big movers. Looks like we got a buyout night, but uh, but everything else looks pretty good. So before we do that, let's just talk about what happened last week. For some of you that are new here, first of all, welcome to Cybertrain University. And uh, like we always tell you, just look, listen, and learn. And let's show what we did, what, what happened last week. We had this one stock right here that is obviously, oops, wrong one. This is, uh, yes, this is the right one. I apologize. The CIFS, okay? This one's going to be on my watch list, but it did also move last week. The stock was roughly about $2.50. Gapped up, went to three, went all the way to four. It's gapping up again. This stock um, right here got destroyed the stock about it over a year ago uh, a little bit more than that it was about a $50 stock so when you're looking at it like oh it's four dollars you know it's a 45 percent that I missed the, that I missed the rally listen the stock dropped all the way down to a dollar okay so let me just show you right here this thing got destroyed destroyed uh, you can see right there $65 stock went all the way down to a dollar so it's a nice little China stock China you know we know that what's going on over there with, with the US and China uh, we're trying to like we're trying to uh, make friends and trying to like fix this whole trading war so um, this stock obviously a lot of those Chinese stocks are doing pretty well for us you know the INO we've been trading uh, the Hoya you know a lot of them are out there that we traded what else we had the uh, NIO that one did pretty well too. The China, the Chinese, the uh, Chinese um, Tesla stock right there. But a lot of good ones out there. Let me just bang this out. Our best one last week was this one right here, which was the the BT the the B the BPTH BPTH. Why didn't it come up? This one was just phenomenal stock. This thing you can see here just. Went great. Went from three dollars to eight fifty. Huge winner. That was a great winner of last week. And AMRN, which I know we want to put it back on our watch list. This is also something that did really well for us. Went from twenty all the way to about twenty three. Nice little day trading moves on all of them. A lot of us got pretty much caught this in the beginning, right here, which was pretty good. So overall, it was a pretty decent day um, on Friday and overall last week. Now, guys, remember something. That is the past okay that's in the archives let's focus on the present there's a new week now the tip of the day is this guys um fellow traders i want to just remind everyone i just have josh in my off my office this morning we always kind of talk about brainstorming and finding out like why people are successful why they're failing and the big thing that our job is not to teach you how to make money it's to teach you how to stop losing money that because eventually the winners take care of themselves you have to stop learning from that and one of the big things that i want a lot of a lot of you guys to remember is this always focus what we talked about in our journals right and we, we talk about in class 
focus on your day's pay. Remember, whenever you're a student of CTU, the first thing we always ask you is how much money you want to make a year. That is your ultimate goal. You're not looking to make it in, in one day. What are you looking to make in one year? Okay. Um, because you know what? Can you do it, you know, pretty quickly? Absolutely. And guess what? If you do it, Chances are you're going you're gonna to get yourself in the worst situation. Like I told you, I had a guy uh, I was talking the other day was trying to brag with me, had an account with his options account. He said he had $50,000 and he says he's trading options. He's like in, in a month he got it. He, he made like $30,000. He almost doubled his money. I'm like, yeah, good, great. Congratulations. How'd you do that? Oh, I love him doing great. Um, this actually was about two months ago. Two weeks later, he calls me back up. Hey, you know what? How's day trading? Maybe I'll consider it. I'm like, what happened? You lost your money in options? Yeah. He uh, That that $30,000 profit ended up becoming a, a $60,000 loss, and I think he only salvaged less than $20,000. So um, listen, it's not, a, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Try to focus on your day's pay, and that's it, all right? So you see some of these stocks like this one up $2, $3, $5. We're not looking for the 2 3 $5 winners. We're looking for the $0.20, cents, the $0.50 cents on your 1,000 share lots. That's what it's all about. Now, there are a lot of stocks that are moving this morning, and I'm going to put back on the watch list is the CIFS. This one is obviously gapping up again. Nice little stock. Only issue I have with it right now is it, right now it's a little late. You can see it's starting to build a little bit of a um, – let me just uh, – lower this down right here you can see it's breaking a little bit of a lower lows it's got some nice support levels around 450 but the stock did gap up pretty nicely this morning and i'm not really too crazy about it on the uh on the trend in pre-market so this one put that uh put this on your we'll put it on the watch list but i want to see how she opens up another one um this one is the only probably one that's doing pretty well right now for us the the yriv this one is obviously uh, is a stock that got destroyed. You could see it. It was high as almost as a, as 12, went all the way down to a, I don't know, 40 cents or something like that. She's up pretty big. You know, once again, nice little stock right there, moving pretty well. Um, a good price was if you got it in here earlier, uh, when it had that little back off right there. Let me change this time frame to one minute. It'll look a little probably a little bit easier to read. But uh, really nice support levels right there. But it looks like she's breaking an all time highs, which uh, which has got to break this resistance, which it did a little bit. Early, I wouldn't buy it right now. I would wait and see if it breaks that high. But um, but if you did get in early where you should have got in, where it tested that support at like 97 cents, that's pretty well. Once again, don't hold it against the stock up 150%. Listen, money's money at the end of the day, guys. You're not looking to, uh, you're not, uh, you know, you, may, you could make a lot more money on this one than trading f Facebook. All right. RKDA is another one up nicely but she's backing off in pre-market so i'm kind of like eh, maybe maybe not that one's not terrible and nk is another one i found this morning uh starting to go up another little cheapy right here gapped up 23 percent nice little move now there were some other stocks out there that i did see but i wasn't too crazy about i mean you had this stock right here win but you know once again these are very inexpensive stocks you know down 30 16 percent um night I saw this earlier. You can you could tell just by the chart. It's a buyout, a weekend buyout. You know, these are things that really turned me off. Uh, ASND, another stock gapped up really nicely, up 54%. But we're not going to go trade this $106 stock, you know. So there wasn't that much out there uh, in the pre-market, once again, because of, you know, what's, what's happening uh, probably what's going on here in New York. They closed, they closed, they closed the, they close the public schools. So this one, I'll throw back. I'll throw this one on the, on the watch list. The IG, um, the IGC. Some of you remember the stock we traded in October. It went from two dollars up to fourteen. Great little short squeeze. Also, it's like testing higher highs right here. Stock, um, you know, right there. It's got a great, great chart right there. It looks great. I would keep an eye on that one too. I'll throw that one on there. So it's not a lot out there, but you know what? We we, we talked about the China stocks. You know, listen. Remember what I told you. You want to be a good swing trader. You want to be a good options trader. You damn well better be a good uh, day trader first because it's what's, what's moving over the course of the day, which trickles down these stocks that go up. Um, actually, just keep an eye on this IGC. I just saw a 42,000 share buyer out here. Oh, there he is right there. You see him at 301? There he is right there on edge. That's a good sign. Let's see if he's uh, pushing it up. That's a big-ass buyer right there. All right, anything I'm missing I did not call out? 
Anything, guys? Yep, looks like he looks like he bit it up right there. Looks like everybody else sees him. All right, so listen, good luck today, everybody. Listen, I will be on uh, today, just to let you guys know, I will be on Timing Research today uh, at 1 o'clock. So if you guys haven't registered, it's a great little uh, presentation I do with uh, with several different uh, gr masterminds of today's markets. So if you're not, it's a great time during the day to go out there and uh, listen in. So I'll see you guys there. Remember, we only trade an hour a day, first hour of the morning, last hour of the close. Even if you have to, if you you know really need to, you made your money, call it a day. But uh, definitely come out and see us. And don't forget, we got the Cyber Expo. It's coming up the following week. All right, guys? Listen, good luck today. Happy trading. I'll put the watch list out there. And we'll see you in all the upcoming classes this week. All right? Just take it easy. It is a Monday. So don't get too cocky, all right? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.